Okay, I thought I would present some of the tweening features, which is in the new tweening library. Uh, I've done quite a lot of changes to the first release uh, because we had some problems there. And uh, the biggest problem was actually something as simple as the class helper. Uh, this was set to be a class helper for uh, T-Win control, but of course that excludes you know, things like labels, which inherit from you know, T-Graphic control. So I solved this by uh, taking it back to ordinary T-Control, <clears throat> and then I inherited out two new helpers. So that solved the problem. But let's have a little look at this. Because now that you can do tweening uh, on control level, you can create some fancy new components. For example, this is, you know, looks like a button, but it's actually a label. Click it, and suddenly it's an edit box. When you leave it, it tweens back. So these things are, you know, quite easy to make. And uh, there was a guy on Delta Developer that, you know, really needed something like this. So it's not, you know, completely identical to, to what he wanted, but uh, it's in the ballpark and uh, the code will show you know some of the the techniques you actually need to use so it's actually a very simple little component and you have you know three states when you start it has a state of none while it's doing doing animation it's in a transit state and then when it reaches its final destination then the edit box is visible and it enters the edit state then it goes backwards when you uh, click escape or tab or leave the component in some some form so i'm going to uh, fix this up and uh, the new code will be available on patreon shortly